Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we're going to investigate whether or not a pair of $1,000 rubber sole loafers could be worth it. So for this installment of our Is It Worth It series, we got our hands on a pair of the Laura Piana Summer Walk Loafers. Now, this is one of the hottest shoes in the menswear world, and with a sweltering price of $1,000, it got us curious. So, we'll dive into these shoes and critique them and help you decide whether or not they're worth the steep price tag. But first, in typical GG fashion, let's look back at the history of Laura Piana so we can see why they can command such steep prices. Now, the modern Laura Piana company was founded in 1924, and they quickly grew to prominence for offering really nice high-end fabrics. They particularly specialize in fabrics like merino wool or cashmere or even vicuna. Basically, if an animal is cute and fuzzy, they will take its wool and they will use it for their materials. And if you want a fuller and more in-depth history, you can go over to Raphael's video analyzing Laura Piana cashmere here. For today's purposes, let's jump ahead to 2005 when Laura Piana introduced their summer walk loafer. And as the name implies, it's intended to be a warm weather, sort of beachy vibe by the water type of shoe. Now, the summer walk loafer was pretty niche for quite a while until Laura Piana began to aggressively push it in 2019 as a shoe for the well-to-do. The whole design and marketing around the summer walk loafer really is about quiet luxury. Quiet luxury being a very expensive, artisanal grade product that a lot of people don't know about. There's not a lot of branding, but if you're in the know, you know. So since then, the summer walk loafer has become a status symbol. It's been purchased and gobbled up by affluent influencers and hype beasts. And it's so associated with the super wealthy that different magazines and articles have called it the billionaire's loafer. The summer walk loafer even made a splash in the contemporary art scene, which really grounded itself as a piece that people had to have. And to meet increasing demand in 2023, Laura Piana has announced they're gonna open another footwear facility in Italy. This factory will join their existing shoe factory in Porto Sant'El Padillo, and Laura Piana has said, our white sole shoes have become one of the Maison's hallmarks over the years, so the technology and resources available at this factory will allow us to continue to elevate its legacy. Now, obviously, when something is extremely popular and very expensive, it's bound to bring on imitators. And it now seems like every major shoemaker is making a plain front suede or leather loafer with a rubber sole. Laura Piana has even stated that they will take legal action against those who try to copy the aesthetic of their iconic loafer. And they've also launched an ad campaign saying that these loafers are worn by those who do and copied by those who don't. Now, the Summer Walk Loafer makes a lot of sense as it really blends itself well to the Laura Piana ethos and identity. Laura Piana really advertises a jet-setting lifestyle and this one fits right in. The simple lines and the rubber soles of the shoe are very similar to an American boat shoe, so it has this sort of easy, breezy, hang out by the water feel to it. And when it comes to excess and luxury, Laura Piana's products always have a really high price point, which makes them really hard to get and attain for many. So ownership really gives you some serious social cachet. And in 2020, their former CEO said, if people buy Laura Piana, they like to feel a little bit like they're part of a club of connoisseurs. And after all, what's the fun of a club if just anyone can join? So when comparing this loafer to others in the $200 or $400 price point, it's obvious that Laura Piana inflated the price to really give it an exclusive status. Overall, it's inflated because of the luxury appeal of the Laura Piana brand. Of course, Laura Piana can only command such high prices because of its celebrated reputation. The Laura Piana aesthetic is predicated upon universal, simple, and unfussy and fashion forward designs. And always they're executed in luxurious, high quality materials. And this holds true for their shoes, especially the summer walk. Wait, 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 hold up. Now I can hear you asking, but what about those rubber soles? How are those luxurious and high quality? So to answer that question, we need to look at the summer walk loafer and talk about what they're made of. Now, the summer walk loafer is modeled after a plain front style loafer, and it's very similar to a moccasin. Laura Piana markets the shoe as being perfect for summer and for leisurely activities. They even say that this is the perfect shoe for sailing and spending time at the beach. So that puts the summer walk loafer into the category very similar to casual summer shoes like boat shoes or casual loafers. And if you wanna learn more about those types of shoes, you can check out our guide on that here. But practically speaking, a lot of its users are using it more as an urban sort of contemporary flexing fashion shoe rather than for the purposes that Laura Piana marketed it for. The loafer consists of suede or leather uppers, rubber soles, and is, as the online description has somewhat vaguely put it, 
largely handcrafted. Now this applies to at least the stitching on the front of the toe. But Laura Piana doesn't go into any details about additional handiwork. And while we would love for them to comment on if the soles are cemented or stitched on, some online commenters have said that they're Blake stitched, but there's no really verifiable evidence on the Laura Piana website. Laura Piana offers the summer walk with several different options for the uppers in suede, dyed calfskin, cotton, wool, and cashmere, and linen and silk. Laura Piana has become famous from its storm system treated fabrics, and these boast that technology. This helps these loafers resist stains and be more water repellent. And in keeping with the typical Laura Piana color palette, you will see a lot of earth tones. All the shoes have the high contrast white sole, which has become synonymous with this line. This is also typical of many high-end contemporary shoes like white leather sneakers. The soles are made of gum rubber, which comes from a rubber tree, and it is embossed all over with the Laura Piana logo. The little slot on the heel is for personalization. Traditionally, as part of a ship's kit, boating shoes would have the name of their attendant vessel on them, and you can emblazon your own name here. Prices range from $725 to over $1,000, with the lower end of that spectrum being kids' sizes. So if you have really small feet, maybe you could save a few bucks. Standard sizing ranges from five and a half US, which is 38 Italian, to 14 US or a size 48. The shoe is also available for personalization, which means you can select custom exotic internal and external materials. You can choose deer and alligator skins and fur lining. We messed around with this configuration and the most expensive pair of shoes total up to $14,000. But of course today we're gonna critique a off the rack shoe. So let's get to it. So today we're looking at the Summer Walk Loafer in Racing Blue. Let's first start by assessing the material quality. Now, the uppers were made of suede and they definitely were luxurious and very high end. The suede is very soft to the touch with a crisp, elegant nap and with no rough spots. The color is even and consistent without appearing fake or artificial and it had no blemishes. Regarding the thickness, the suede is the perfect sweet spot. It's clearly durable and very strong, but it's thick enough to feel substantial and not clunky. It also has great flexibility, which I noticed when I wore them as my feet could move freely. Although as mentioned, the suede has been treated, these treatments haven't compromised the look or the feel of the suede, and it feels incredibly elegant and all natural. So to test out the efficacy of these treatments, we plan to spill some wine on them and to dunk them in the toilet. Just kidding. While these treatments do make the shoes more resistant to stains and water damage, they're not impervious, so we encourage you to generally avoid both stains and excess water. And if you do get some water or a stain on them, check out our stain removal guide. Now, the inside lining is extremely soft. It has a consistent blemish-free surface, and it's thick enough to provide support with a little cushioning in all the right places. Okay, okay, now it's time to talk about the rubber sole. Rubber is a common material in traditional boat shoe soles because when it's textured, it has an improved grip on wet surfaces, but it won't scratch the delicate hull of a boat. Now, not all rubber is made alike, and the best performing rubber comes from gum rubber made from rubber trees. This is the exact rubber that was used by Laura Piana. If there's such a thing as luxury rubber, this would be it. The rubber we found totally odorless. It had a supple, grippy feel, deep treads, so we're pretty confident that these are no slip. And if I owned a yacht, I feel perfectly comfortable climbing around it with these on. However, it is key to remember that rubber soles like these are intended for use while boating or at the beach. They're not built for consistent use and they don't have the durability of leather soles. So if you're wearing the summer walk for daily walking shoes, the rubber is not going to last very long, even if it is luxury rubber. I'm never gonna get used to saying that. Overall, we were really impressed by these different components and it's clear that Laura Piana used the very top end of the range. However, we've seen comparable quality from other brands without the Laura Piana markup. Is this way better quality? In most cases, yes, although there are some exceptions. Is this shoe two or three times better than their peers, thus justifying the high price point? Not really. Let's assess how these parts fit together by assessing construction. Individual leather segments have been neatly trimmed and consistently and securely sewn together. Stitch density is really important for a shoe like this, and the stitching is consistent and tight and even. The heel is low, but it sits very comfortably like a boat shoe. And again, the materials are impressive, but not super impressive considering the cost. In every positive review of this shoe, the comfort was the main selling point. There's a lot of walking on clouds imagery out there when it comes to the summer walk loafer. Personally, I found these loafers extremely comfortable. They weren't too loose, they weren't too tight, there was no pinching or chafing, but I wouldn't say that they were any more comfortable than any other suede 
unlined summer loafer that I own. Maybe they'll assume more cloud-like qualities after they break in, but I really wouldn't go that far. The reality is I own other loafers similar to this, and the real comfort comes from the quality materials like the unlined suede and the soft soles. I do think that it would be a pleasure to wear these shoes for extended periods. It would also be really comfortable to walk in them, even though with a lot of wear, they will wear down. This will take some of the shine off of the overall experience, especially when you consider the high price point. Because slip-on shoes typically stretch, especially ones with unlined suede, my typical go-to has been to size down from my usual US 12 down to an 11 and a half. Now, I follow Laura Piana's size chart and I ended up picking the size 45, which is a size 11. So I ended up taking one full size down and it worked great for me, especially because I know that this loafer will stretch. I also tried a 44 and it was way too tight. I couldn't get my foot in. Because of the small heel, this could be a problem for some gentlemen like Raphael, but I experienced no issues. While looks aren't everything, they should factor in, especially with a shoe that costs $1,000. The Summer Walk Loafer no doubt has a very clean, simple, luxurious look to it. And they're definitely compatible with classic style. We really appreciate the understated and simple color palette, especially colors that'll work really well with other summer materials like cream linen. While the toned down detailing might not be everyone's thing, I really like it because it lets you just focus on the colors. Personally, I really love this style. I saw this style of shoe all over Italy last summer when Raphael and I visited, and I told him that I really liked him, and I looked around at a couple of different brands. We couldn't get into Laura Piana because we didn't have an appointment. So I ended up going home empty handed. And as is the case here in the States, the style really becomes a thing a year later, which is why we're seeing them all over the place right now. To me, it's the perfect hybrid between a sneaker and a loafer. I actually like the look of it a lot better than the traditional boat shoe, which can sometimes look a bit clunky. The loafer is more refined than sneakers for casual attire, but it's a little bit more toned down than wearing a typical lace-up dress shoe. But just because I like the style, does that mean that these loafers are worth it? Okay, time for the verdict. Are these loafers a walk in the park or do they need to take a hike? So I think it's safe to assume that we would say that these loafers are not worth it unless you really have to have this shoe from Loro Piana. Yes, these shoes have really great suede and a really nice rubber sole, but there's nothing that justifies two or three X the price besides the designer label. Here at the Gentleman's Gazette, we are not all into getting hung up on brands and labels. So unless that interests you, it really doesn't interest us. At the end of the day, we cannot justify paying three times the price for the Laura Piana Crest, even if it does look really nice. And in the marketplace right now, there are a lot of great alternatives at every price point, all of them with very comparable materials and design. At lower price points, we have the Skolix Belgian Loafer for right around 190 US dollars. You also have options from Suit Supply and Scarosa. If you wanna step up a bit in price point, you have the similarly styled Bowden and Lang Beat or the Stride. In preparation for this video, I picked up a pair of Aurelian Voyagers that I swear are made in the exact same factory because the sole and the leather feels the same. They're super comfortable and they come in right around $400. And if you love the brand Crockett and Jones, they make a loafer at around $700. This Crockett and Jones is also a great choice because it comes with unlined suede, but if you like the durability of a leather sole, it has that. The reality is the Summer Walk loafer comes in at a price point that's steep, but it still can be attainable. Many people are tempted to buy the shoe based off the hype and allure around it. After all, we have no problem spending $1,000 on a product if it's really worth it, but after looking at this loafer, it really isn't worth it for us. Let us know down in the comments below. Do you own a pair of these loafers? Would you buy them? And if you do own them, do you love them? Was it worth it? Please let us know. In today's video, I'm wearing an outfit that is perfect for spring, summer, perfect for wearing a pair of summer walk loafers. I'm wearing a knit long sleeve polo shirt. It has a deep four button pop over placket and it was made to measure by proper cloth. My trousers are a pair of high rise cream from Calero over in Singapore, perfect for the warm weather months. My shoes are not the Laura Piana Summer Walks, but rather the Aurelian loafers in an olive green color. I really love these loafers as a suitable alternative. They were right around $400 and they feel exactly the same. Building off of this warm weather feel, I'm wearing no socks with these loafers. On my wrist is a Nomos Neomatic with a blue dial. If you wanna check out any of the Fort Belvedere products that we offer, like socks, ties, or pocket squares, click on the link down in the description below. Thank <laughs> you.